astronauts could be returning to the moon in just a few years. And that's according to a bold new plan leaked from the White House. But how does that impact NASA's plan to go to Mars? Jason Miles joins us live at the Johnson Space Center tonight to explain what's going on. Hey, Jason. Hey there. Well, potentially billions of dollars are at stake here. Right now, NASA isn't saying very much, but a retired astronaut believes a return trip to the moon could make getting to Mars easier. Retired astronaut and author Clayton Anderson. It's just incredible. Made two journeys to space and doesn't believe returning to the moon sounds too far out. Going back to the moon to me and to many of my astronaut colleagues, I believe makes sense. Leaked White House documents first reported by Politico suggest the Trump administration wants to, among other things, go back to the moon within three years. But there's a huge amount of risk involved. This is hard to do. Anderson believes the moon could be a test bed for eventual missions to Mars. And validate techniques, equipment, and the things on the moon that can help us do the same on Mars. NASA already has a plan to get to Mars sometime in the 2030s. A spokesperson at Houston's Johnson Space Center had no specific comment on the Trump leak. But part of a statement reads, quote, there is widespread recognition that NASA's plan is clear, affordable, sustainable, and attainable. This consensus is stretching not only across the aisle, but across the public, private, academic, and nonprofit sectors. The United States of America should be the preeminent spacefaring nation in the entire world, always. Anderson believes that should be everyone's common mission. And according to this leak, the Trump administration also wants to up private sector involvement. But uh, according to a retired astronaut, Anderson, who, I'm, who I spoke with, uh, profit-focused space exploration still makes him a little nervous. Reporting live outside the Space Center, Houston, Jason Miles, KHOU 11 News. Pretty exciting. Thanks, Jason.